This channel is made possible by viewers like you. My viewers, subscribers, and patrons greatly help to keep this channel going. I wouldn't be here today if it wasn't for all of you. Please make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any uploads. And if you'd like to go the extra mile, please check out my Patreon page. For just a dollar a month, you'll get access to what I'm working on, previews of upcoming content, and even early videos, along with other tier options for those that are interested. Thank you, and now on to the video. Justice League Cosmic Chaos is one of 2023's underrated and honestly just overlooked games. I bet many of you watching this probably have never heard about this title when it originally released. I for one didn't even know it was a thing when it came out. I really didn't know what to expect going into this one. Being a big fan of many of the Justice League characters and craving something new featuring them, I was really surprised when I started diving into it. The cutesy look made me wonder if this was going to be some type of cash-in title than an actual good game. But here we had a developer that did a really good job, as when I kept diving into it, I wanted to see more of the story, and now I hope that we get to experience a sequel for this title as well. Cosmic Chaos is a solid title and works great as a game for kids and adults. It's really fun. He used to be one of us. Oh. Hey, once a league member, always a league member. They're right, Bruce. It's not always about fighting. We can do just as much good interacting with the people. Hey, make sure you cut that up. So, Snapper, what's your... Justice League Cosmic Chaos is a top-down beat-em-up title that features a decent amount of RPG-like leveling mechanics. Most of your time is spent fighting, with some nice little diversions thrown in as well. You are thrown into an open-world setting, and this is where you'll be spending most of your time. I should clarify that many of the systems and mechanics on display here are things that you have seen in other titles before, but the developers did a good job of implementing them well and surrounding them with fun and interesting versions of these classic characters. As someone who enjoyed Justice League Heroes on the PS2, this sort of acts like a spiritual successor in a way. Plus, there's plenty of characters that either pop up in the form of a cameo or even featured through a set of side missions, and some even help you out as an assist, like with their abilities. This is a focused title, but my guess is that this was probably done for budget reasons, but they smartly worked within that scope. So, mess with George, huh? Don't think too hard about it. Pretty sure you just toss those flamingos in the pool and laugh. Worth a shot. Have a nice swim, flamingos. What is wrong with this dimension? Every time I turn around, someone shows up to mess with my stuff. Look at my poor ladies. Now I have to go fish them out and set them up again. And I, I, oh, you know what? I give up. I guess the flock is taking an extended swim today. Okay, that should do it for messing with George. Well, I had fun at least. Let's break down some of the gameplay. So like I said, the bulk of the action is centered on the beat-em-up stuff. You get to control the Trinity from Superman, Batman, and Wonder Woman. Now you would think that you would control one and others would be AI companions, but that isn't the case here. You can actually swap between the three of them at any time. Each of the three heroes are pretty distinct as well from each other, with their own unique moves and powers. For example, Batman uses Batarangs for ranged attacks, while Superman uses his heat beams and Wonder Woman throws her shield. Each of the characters have a set of power moves that they can use, and there is some personalization when it comes to each of the powers that you want to use. It's pretty much should I use this one or another one. Don't expect anything super in-depth here, but there is a small level of choice that allows players to have their own ownership of who they are playing as and how they operate. The same goes with the equipment that you can attach to each of the characters. Items can range from different stuff that improves your different stats, like one that lowers your max health but gives you health for each of the attacks you land. Characters have their own elemental as well. This can be used to take down an enemy's shields easier. Their elemental can be swapped out with the equipment too. Or maybe you want to equip some of the comical items, like one that makes their shoes very squeaky. From your abilities to your equipment, all of this can be upgraded and toyed around with. There's enough to give you that desired personalization and customization, just not anything super in-depth. Oh great, it's you guys again. Where's Snapper? Busy, but there's a signed diner napkin in it for you if you talk. Duh, okay, fine. Anything for the car, man. What do you want to know? What did they tell you on that bus? That the prize is super awesome, it's going to change our lives, and that we should get inside ASAP to get it. Oh, and if you follow me inside, something bad is going to happen to everyone else, so you better stay right here. And while you hang out, I'm going to go get my prize! Toodles. 
Cosmic Chaos does have an open world, and it has a nice mixture of guided and player-initiated exploration. You have some things to unlock off the bat, like more fast travel points, but there's plenty of optional quest lines and areas to explore. Finding new comics will unlock new outfits for each of your characters too. Plus, when you have an open world, the traversal needs to be fun. Each of the three have their own unique form of going around. Superman can fly, Batman glides, and Wonder Woman is kind of like Spider-Man. She uses her lasso to swing around. At first, I thought she would have her invisible jet, but I'm assuming that the lasso was used to be something different than flying around like with Superman. Quick side note, I wish she got to use her sword. She only has access to her shield, and she needs more weapons in the future. In addition to all of this, you can drive many of the vehicles like cars, motorcycles, and even a skateboard. They even make a joke about Superman driving when he could be flying. The open world is good, and so are the main story missions. These are full of delightful and charming moments as you fight through several dungeons. The game has stakes, but everything is done in this charming and lighthearted way that gives it this enjoyable, feel-good time. Sometimes quick diversions are thrown in, like a stealth section, or needing to try to play through a game show. It's all good stuff. The story is enjoyable as well, with good performances all around. I had a really good time with this game and encountered some flaws along the way. For example, there were a few times where enemies would just outright ignore me and not engage at all. Platforming is also rather loose and not good. Thankfully, you only really need to use this in a few instances. I did have the game crash on me once, and Wonder Woman's lasso got glitched in one part. Lastly, the game does offer co-op, but this can only be done in instant action mode. This is like a free play mode that is separate from the campaign. I think it would have been better to allow for someone to drop into the campaign at any time, at least locally. This is something I'd love to see in a sequel. Sometimes a game comes out and it completely passes you by. Like there are those games that you see, but you're already involved or committed to playing something right now. So you're like, I'll go back to this one later, or maybe wait for a sale. Then there's titles that you have no idea about. Lately, this is from how badly marketed many titles are coming from bigger companies. I have covered plenty of games like this on my channel. While in other instances, there might be a smaller budget title, and as a result, there wasn't really much marketing for it. I sort of felt this way with Justice League Cosmic Chaos. It seemed like WB licensed their characters out to a smaller developer and publisher to make a kid's game. On face value, you think this would be some sort of cheap cash-in, especially on these iconic characters, but that would be the furthest thing from the truth. Justice League Cosmic Chaos is something that I had no idea that I wanted, and I am happy that this game was made. Does it break the mold for top-down beat-em-up RPGs? No. Does it do anything revolutionary with its open world? No, not at all. But it executes solid gameplay systems and mechanics, with a story full of humor and charm. With so much bad writing seen within the game's industry, especially from some of the bigger companies, here we have a smaller title with a focused scope, that actually respects and cares about the source material. Characters lean a bit more into being silly at times, but this is all done to try and make the player smile. It's humor that works, and more importantly, doesn't come across as insufferable. This is one of those rare titles that both works for kids and adults, they'll both enjoy it. And this is something that I really hope sells well enough to get a sequel from these developers. I really like what they were able to accomplish with it, and it even gives me that feel-good kind of vibe that I want from some of my entertainment. I highly recommend Justice League Cosmic Chaos. Have you played Cosmic Chaos? What's your favorite Justice League game? Let me know all of this in the comments down below. If you're interested in being notified of new videos, please hit the subscribe button and bell. And if you'd like to support the channel and get early access to content, please check out my Patreon. All of the links will be at the end of this video and within the description. And thank you very much for watching.